Here at the Byron Yoga Retreat Center, the style of yoga that we teach is called Purna Yoga. And the word Purna means integrated or complete. And it's based on the four pillars of asana, pranayama, meditation, and philosophy. And the philosophy comes from the Ashtanga Yoga system. And Ashtanga is the eight limbs, the eight limbs of yoga. The first two limbs, the Yamas and Niyamas, there are five of each of those. The Yamas, which are the moral and ethical principles by which we better live in the society of other people. The second, Niyamas, which are the moral and ethical principles by which we better live with ourselves. The third limb is Asana, which literally translates as comfortable seat, but of course are doing the range of postures where we move every muscle and every joint in every direction, ideally every day. The fourth one is Pranayama, which usually is the breathing exercises within the yoga class, but can have a lot deeper meaning as well. The fifth one is Pratyahara, where we focus on withdrawing our mind from the objects of the senses and turning the focus internally. The sixth limb, Dharana, single pointed focus or concentration. And the seventh is dhyana. So from this single point of focus, we eventually bring our mind to stillness. And then by incorporating all of these practices, we will eventually be able to reach some levels of the eighth limb, which is samadhi, which can be translated in different ways, such as self-realization, liberation, or even to become the best version that we can of ourselves. Yamas and Niyamas are useful tools to help us become that better version of ourselves. So the Yamas are the moral and ethical principles by which we can better live in the society of other people. And the first one of those, the very first principle of yoga, is ahimsa, non-violence. The second one, satya, truthfulness. The third one, ashtaya, non-stealing. The fourth one, brahmacharya, correct ethical behavior with each other. The fifth one, aparigraha, non-greed non-hoarding. The Niyamas, the moral and ethical principles by which we can better live with ourselves, the first one of those is Sutra, cleanliness. The second one, Santosha, developing an inner contentment. The third one, Tapas, that fire of determination and commitment. The fourth one, Svedyaya, study. Not just an intellectual kind, but even study of the self. The fifth one, Ishvara Panidana, surrendering to the principle that there is a power in the universe greater than ourselves. By putting into practice the eight limbs, and in particular the yamas and niyamas, it supports us in the process of growing, improving and changing to ultimately become that best version that we can be of ourselves.